Hey, this is Eric with CartoonLearning.com. Um, I'm still getting a lot of questions about switch layers. They're actually pretty easy to use, but if you've used another program in the past, they might pose a little bit of a problem for you. So this will just clarify all that for you. Um, real quick though, if you have any questions on this tutorial, please do not ask your questions on YouTube. It's a pain for me to answer them on there. I'm restricted as to what I can type and it's it's just a pain so if you could please ask your questions on the corresponding article on cartoonlearning.com and if you happen to ask a repetitive question or something I can just link to a different article and it's a lot easier on me so alright anyway switch layers so we're gonna focus on this hand on my character right here his left hand now the problem that most people have is that they want to come down here to their timeline select uh, a certain frame in the timeline. We'll take frame 24. Now, so everybody knows your little red line indicates that frame 24 is the frame that you're working on. And I just got that by left clicking on frame 24. Um, but most people want to do this and then come over to their layers tree, um, open up their switch layer, and then left click on something like the fist outside. And they think that that will make the change. As you can see, the hand has changed and it's now showing the fist. Uh, the problem is, if you come down to the timeline, you'll see that there's no dot placed down here in the timeline. That dot would be the indication that your keyframe has changed. Um, so the way to actually set that so that it sticks, come over here. Instead of clicking on one of these layers that's in your switch layer, actually right click your mouse on your actual switch layer. You right click it, open it up, and we'll select um, I don't know, here palm up too. You left click it. Once after you've right clicked to open this up, you left click it and you'll see there's a check mark there now on palm two. Um, and you can see that it's changed. My hand has changed, but not only has it changed, if you come down to the timeline you'll see that there's a corresponding dot indicating that on frame 24 my switch layer has changed okay when you actually make a keyframe change you'll you'll notice that there will be um, something to indicate what the change was made to in this case it's the switch layer there's another way to do this i'll go to frame 30 and show you um, if i came over here and left clicked on my switch layer to highlight it then i can come over to my layers tab click my switch layer layer go up, come up here to where it says active child now we can set a keyframe by selecting our child in here so if we go to um, left click facing thumb we've now changed the hand again and you'll see that there's a corresponding keyframe change down here in the timeline so that's it it's that simple um, oh by the way why would this be important as you can see, because this happens to be a little bit more work, as you can see though, I have like, I don't know, 34 different layers for my hands. Uh, when I get something that's that long, if I were to try to set it over here, there are times when it actually falls off the bottom of the screen and I can't reach the things that I'm trying to reach. So that's when this would be handy is when you have a huge list of stuff. So that, that's keyframes and um, Hope you visit cartoonlearning.com and thanks for watching.